Yesterday I promised you drama. Today we got it, and then some, with a truly stunning sumo announcement. I think you'll be thrilled with the contents, the reveal coming up at the end. Today saw the heat for which Nagoya is famed return with temperatures well into the 30s. Hottest under the collar of all were Akua and Mitoryu. Some of that looked more like mosquito swatting. No clues as to what triggered those roundhouses. Perhaps both men will receive a speaking to. In Division 1, my goodness, weren't the judges busy. First to trouble them, Kazuki Uda, looking for a second win over Kaisei exactly two months on from his first. Had Uda pulled off his signature Izori throw on all those 200 kilos, it would have at least been move of the month. You can see the right arm repeatedly bracing itself. But I think his shoulder ducked out in more ways than one, and the resultant grope for anything Kaisei ended in a hair pull and disqualification, much to the fans' dismay. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that to be called a loss, said a dejected Uda. I'm really not sure I took any hair. It's a first for me, but I can still walk away from this one believing I won. Oh, he got some hair all right, Kaisei insisted. I was like, huh? But you know, maybe he just got his fingers caught. After Tobizaru and Kagayaki went to a rematch, it was our turn for the latest installment of this gripping Mongolian feud. As usual, it did not disappoint. There you see Horshaw Ryu's try for the standard winning formula, a right tipping throw which aims to set up the frontal left and drive. But Ichinojo has thoroughly studied this and ably defends with his right forearm. The bigger man seems to have hit the jackpot with that constraining left and right throat hold, but Horshaw Yu parries from the only viable direction to tax the judges. With even the photographer's expert still shots unable to show a winner, the two were made to battle again. Once again, Horshaw Yu rides the outside left throw to try and fashion that frontal left force out. But Ichinojo's right scoops in his defense. <laughs> Horshoryu initially fails, but feels he's worked out a throwing angle. Okay, 
Voila! Five wins from six over the giant. He's the heaviest man I've faced in my career so far, Horshaw Liu said. I got really tired grappling with him, but the win was well worth it. That's his ninth success of July. Might a special prize be due? Back to the title race then, and Terunofuji, 12-0 for the first time at this top level, seeking to extend his winning run over Shodai to four. That he did, but in heart-stopping fashion. Shodai's hefty scoop can unsettle anyone on its day, and almost has Teru stumbling. But it's as if something inside says, Shodai, can you really do this to him? And prevents his left following up as it should. Teru's left knee excels on the last line of defense. His right foot kicks off the rope, and he's away. To safety, and then to victory. I focused on keeping things moving on my side and not standing still, said Shodai. I know I have to finish off in situations like that, but I'm pleased to have pulled off what I could. I told myself to play it cool, I did, so that was good, said a typically staid Teru. But then came the words which look set to change his life, and will save conflict of interest discussions for another day. Tedu's highly busy coach Isegahama, chief judge and therefore head of the rankings committee, told reporters this evening that in his opinion, Tedu's 13 wins are already enough to merit Yokozuna promotion. There's no greater credential than the July title, of course, coach conceded. But as you know, we promote based on titles or comparable results, and 13 wins guarantees at least runner-up, Therefore, he's meeting the criteria. If quoted correctly, this is a groundbreaking statement specifically designed to safeguard the integrity of the final two days, and meant especially for the ears of Hakuho. The message. Teru is up already. There is no need to help him at the weekend. If you want to beat him on Sunday and take this title yourself, go for it. So there we have it, the 73rd Yokozuna decided, and Hakuho given free reign to go for glory. It's exactly the gesture the fans supporting this first regional tournament in 16 months deserve. Join us again tomorrow then, for Teru no Fuji Takayasu and Hakuho Shodai.